I knew that he was going to, uh, that President Biden was going to come in and he was going to try to eliminate the things that he didn't like that Trump had did. Look at a lot of the uh, executive orders that they're passing right now. They want to try to take away our Constitution, our Second Amendment rights, and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff I just don't agree with. Well, frustrated Americans reacting to the record executive order signed by Joe Biden during his first official week in the White House. Here with what we can expect from Congress, Tennessee GOP Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator, those who are diners in your great state, the volunteer state in Knoxville, Tennessee, long relationship between Texans and Tennesseans here from Davy Crockett and Sam Houston to me talking to those diners this week. There was frustration because the number of executive orders is just it is, to put it into context, outrageous. You can see this. I know you know it, Senator. It's 25 by the Biden administration in the first week. Compare that to previous administrations. It is absolutely towering above them. What can Republicans do? This isn't legislation. This is executive orders. What can Republicans do to push yes. back? And right now, we are in that mode where you have to play block and tackle on this. Filing legislation, of course, is something that is important to do. And also awareness. And as you saw this week in Knoxville, Will, people are watching this and they are incredibly unhappy. They are looking what has happened with the climate change, with the Paris Climate Accords, with stopping the Keystone XL pipeline. They are looking at how he is giving favors to China by restricting our freedoms. I had one Tennessean this week said, you know, we should call him Joe the job killer because of the actions that he has taken this week. And then they're looking at Bernie's budget and they're saying, my goodness, $15 an hour is a minimum wage. Some of my Tennessee employers this week have been very concerned about that. But here's what we know. His actions this week have adversely impacted one million jobs, either eliminating or adversely impacting, opening the border to drug cartels, to labor gangs, to gangs, to human traffickers, sex traffickers, making certain that fuel, that you've got that crude in Canada that is going to be heading over to China and then sold back to us. Right. These are things that do not help the U.S. economy. Yeah, and it's, it's still, it still leaves the question, though, what can you do about it? As executive orders, what can Republicans do to push back? Let me move on really quickly, Senator, because I have to ask you about this as well. It's stunning that illegal immigrants in many states can get driver's license. It just defies reality and logic. And I understand that you and several GOP legislators are looking at a way to push back on states that are granting driver's license to illegal immigrants. Right. And this is part of the what can you do about it. And I did file two bills this week that deal with illegal immigration, one of them stopping states. We have 15 states in the District of Columbia that give driver licenses to illegal aliens and restricting federal law enforcement funds to those states. That is legislation that we have. This is something, Will, that should be a bipartisan issue. You should not reward people who purposely and intentionally break U.S. federal law. Right. And that is what these states it's are just, doing. It's just common sense. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know the other side of this. It seems very common sense. All right, Senator Blackburn, thank you for getting up and talking with us this morning. You got it. Take right, care. Bye-bye now.